Hey guys, uh, today we will see how to embed a uh, Q&A module, Power BI Q&A module into a simple HTML page. Um, so what I have is a, a simple uh, data uh, of sum of sales uh, by product for uh, last two years. Uh, let's see how to embed that in the Q&A module. I have a simple HTML page over here with couple of uh, reference to JavaScript files, jQuery and Power BI JS. And then <clears throat> I'm, I'm loading the Power BI client uh, model. I have this config file defined over here. The type is Q&A and the token type is embed. And we have to pass the access token. We'll get to that part how to generate this access token. And we have this embed URL where we are embedding this Q&A embed and we have to pass the group ID and we have to give the data set ID. We'll come to that part as well. And the view mode is q and mode interactive and i have a simple um, div uh, where i will embed my power bi q and a visual over there so i'm just getting the reference to that uh, html div over here and then i'm pushing the power bi visual i'm just embedding that into uh, this uh, div okay so this is all we have it's a simple uh, html page so now the next step is we have to uh, pass in these values. I mean, uh, we have to generate an access token. Let's see how to do that. So we can use this embed token module over here to generate the token. And we will go with the data set generate token in group. Since we are going to create visual on top of the data set, so we will create a token at the data set level. As you can see, this can be used uh, to embed QA, Q and A. So to create token, this API requires uh, two things. One is the group ID and other is the data set ID, which we can get it from the Power BI services over here. As you can see, uh, we can get the group ID over here. And the data set ID is nothing but the data which we have. So let's go to my workspace. This is my workspace and this is my uh, sample data uh, which is used for this uh, report. Okay, so this will give me my um, data set ID. Okay, so let me copy that. So let's try to generate a token. So we have to sign in with our account. So I have to pass this parameters on as the data set ID. Other is the group ID, which is nothing but the workspace ID. And we have to pass the <coughs> body for that. So in the left hand side, you can see some samples given already. So I'll just copy this. So I'm going with the view mode. So there are other types of access level as well as so other body parameters as well, which you can uh, which is clearly uh, given in the left hand side uh, portion so you can very well go through and use it accordingly so for time being i'm just going with the simple access level view level i've given my data set id and group id now let me uh, generate the token so click on run yeah so we could see that token is generated This token will be uh, short lived, I believe it, uh, it's less than 30 minutes or so. So I pass the token over here and this is going to be my embed URL of q and embed. And this is the group ID and we saw how to get the group ID, nothing but the workspace ID. And this is my data set ID again we can get it from the same url so now we are all set okay so the, uh, this is my folder where i have this html and two supporting javascripts so let me try to run this uh, html okay so you could see the q and a module being uh, pulled in right so it is not uh, just a q and a module using a embedding report or something it's it's purely via api so we have brought in this uh, module as an isolated standalone module into a web page right so now i can ask questions on top of our uh, data set so let's 
so let me uh, quickly show the sample data so this is what i have i have sales by product and by year so let me ask couple of questions let's say sum of sales by product okay so you could see the visuals being generated i can ask for a different uh, visual type mm, let's say a pie chart okay or let me ask for sum of sales by year or in a pie chart see so this is how we embed a q and a power bi q and a module into a html using the uh, apis and the uh, tokens i will share all these uh, supporting links in the description hope you are uh, clear with this approach please please do comment if there are any clarifications thanks for watching